God. When I got my ticket from Netherlands to Nigeria, I was praying. I said, the God of my father, visit me so I can get a revelation for me to know that I'm coming to Nigeria. To the glory of God, Papa appeared to me. He came, he sat close to my bed. I was lying there. Papa, I said, Papa. He said, yes. I said, I'm coming to Nigeria. He said, my daughter, come. I'm waiting for you. Getting to Nigeria, I got my ticket. Then getting to Nigeria at the airport for the plane to land, five minutes for the plane to land, we couldn't land. The plane was just rotating, rotating. We couldn't land. For like 30 minutes, the man went back to Lome. He landed in Lome. He told us, he said, there is a big storm in Lagos. That is why we could not land. 20 minutes later, that same storm came to Lome. The plane was shaking. Everybody in the plane was praying. I was calling the God of my father. I said, the God of, the, the God of prophet Jeremiah. I said, I'm a partner. I said, please do your miracle. The grace of God, we were in Lome for three hours. Our plane supposed to land for 12 o'clock. We landed in Lagos for 4 o'clock. I want to give glory to the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the God of Senior Prophet Jeremiah, the God that answered by fire. I want to thank the God of my Father, the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords. I worship you because you are a good God. Thank you, Father, for today, in Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody put those hands together for Jesus. <laughs> Madam, we thank God for Johnny Mercies uh, that he has uh, given to you. And I want to ask you, there are a lot of our viewers uh, listening to you right now. Some are here in this wonderful congregation. Some are listening to you from uh, all over the world. What word of advice would you have to give to them, you that are tasted from this grace and you that are tasted from this power? Viewers all over the world, my advice for you is key into mercy land. Key into the word of God. Key into partner. Be a partner in Christ's mercy land. When you are a partner, Papa is with you. The grace of Papa goes with you in Jesus' name. Amen. And truly, when you become a partner to Mercy Television, the grace upon this commission is always with you and victory will always be yours and every member of your family. Somebody put those hands together for Jesus once more. Voilà, sœur téléspectateur, nous remercions l'Éternel pour la vie de cette sœur venant de, du Pays-Bas, c'est-à-dire qu'avant de venir ici, elle implorait la face de l'Éternel avant de venir, mais l'Éternel Dieu du prophète Jérémie est apparu en elle pour pouvoir faciliter des de moyens de voyage jusqu'à ce que quand elle est arrivée au niveau du Nigeria, et il a pris au moins 35 minutes, la vie, on n'arrive pas à atterrir tout simplement parce que le, le climat n'était pas bon. Alors voilà comment elle a intercédé. La présence de l'Éternel a descendu après quelques temps. Elle a eu l'occasion, l'avion y a l'atterrissage et elle est arrivée jusqu'ici à Christ Mercy Land à bon port. C'est pourquoi elle est ici pour dire merci au Dieu du prophète Jérémie. Applaudissons pour le Seigneur. Our sister, we rejoice with you. Uh, we celebrate with you for what God has done in your life. And we want to urge and advise you that you should... Uh, Continually making the word of God a standard for your life by doing more and more testimony will continue to locate you. And also want to urge and advise you that you should consistently be uh, a partner to Mercy Television. By also doing more and more testimony will continue to locate you and every member of your family. We rejoice with you once more and we pray that your testimony will remain permanent in your life in the name of our Lord Jesus. Amen. Somebody put those hands together Amen. for Thank Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Put those hands together for Jesus. Continue to celebrate grace in the house. Put those hands together for Jesus. For testimonies still continue. And uh, we have a beautiful family in the house this morning. They are here to return all glory, all honor to our Lord and personal Savior, Jesus Christ, for what the God of this wonderful and great commission has done in their life. And you, as you're listening 
to this wonderful testimony. Do not just sit down and listening to this uh, testimonies for listening's sake. I want to urge that whichever testimony you know that is related to your problem, do not just sit down. Celebrate with the testifier. Come out. Uh, sow a seed of faith because by this time, some persons only need a testifier to listen to a testifier for them to get their own testimony. So as you're listening to this testifier, do not just sit down for listening's sake because it is your soul, your turn to testify. And as you do so, God will richly bless you in the name of our Lord Jesus. Somebody put those hands together for Jesus. Our sister, you're welcome to Christ's Mercy and Deliverance Ministry. Please tell us your name, where you come from. Uh, introduce the person standing beside you and quickly share with us your wonderful testimony. Mercy Land. Arena of Solution and Power. Mercy Land. Arena of Solution and Power. I'm Pastor Gift Abdu, a general overseer of his Mercy Satrich Ministry from Lagos. The people beside me are some of my ministers and pastors that accompany me to this mountain. If you are clapping for this great God, you can do better than that. Put those hands together for Jesus. I came to this messy city confused, frustrated, and battered. As a pastor, I've done everything I could, but the ministry was not working. So I was at the point of giving up. I told, I called a meeting, I informed my pastors, my minister, he said, the way it is, it's like I need to look for a man of God to hand over this ministry to, that I'm tired. I remember in a, a certain time, we, we did video in one year, every night in one year. Fasting continuously every day, a period of my life, up to 50 days. Several things that I think that I should do, I've done them. The ministry was under attack, and it, it got to a point it was only me and my ministers, my pastors, and our children that was left in the ministry. So one day I was crying to the Lord, and the Lord asked me to go and locate our Papa, Prophet Jeremiah Motufufin. If you're clapping for this great God, you can do better than that. Put those hands together for Jesus. You can go ahead. He, the Lord told me, go and submit to him. I'm giving you a spiritual father to back you up. So I located Mercy City. And as soon as I begin to follow him, I begin to see the mighty hand of God upon my life. Our father, Prophet Jeremiah Omoto Fufuyi, a man on whose shoulder I am flying right now. <laughs> the grace of my papa has pulled me out of the pit. And so God Almighty, show me mercy in this mercy city. As soon as Papa prayed for me. I remember in one, one service over the night, the Lord said, focus on your Papa today. Make sure, he said, focus on him to get a mantle from him. And so during the service, he flew, he threw the mantle. I was the one that grabbed it. After that day, it's like God just the verse with my enemy. Things begin to happen. Where we were before, the place could no longer contain us. And uh, I came to the mountain. Here last year, I prayed, called upon the God of my papa, and he surprised me. He has given us a new building for the church. Somebody, you are not celebrating God like you mean it. You are not celebrating God like you mean it. Somebody celebrate grace in the house. Put those hands together for Jesus. 
So, madam, you mean after your encounter with uh, the senior prophet Jeremiah Omotefi, things begin to happen in the ministry because you told us you wanted to give up. And uh, what encounter did you experience through this, uh, I mean, in your ministry after you encountered uh, with the grace of this uh, commission? God began to add souls as people start coming to the ministry. Testimonies start rolling in. God start changing people's life. And so there was a great increase in my ministry. There was a great increase. And great increase you will, well, will you continue to experience in your ministry in the name of our Lord Jesus. Somebody put those hands together for Jesus. All right, we can see some pictures on the screen, uh, apart from the new building of the church premises. Also, we can see some other pictures on the screen. And please, can you throw more light on those documents and so that we can yeah. understand what this great God of sin and prophet Jeremiah Mutufi has done in your life. This is a ministry in the former church. This is a new auditorium the Lord has given to us. Yes, this is a new building God has given to us. Now, that is a proof where my papa lay hand on me. There, you can see the, this picture said a picture of the ministry. These ones are the ministers. And this is me there. We can all see the pictures of the new ministry, the new auditorium that God has blessed our sister with after she encountered with the grace of us of God in the life of our uh, Papa Senior Prophet Jeremiah Mutufi. And you can see the changes. We can all see what she has experienced all through the period she encountered with the grace of God uh, in this great commission. And right now, Madam, I used to think thinking of closing down the ministry or are you still thinking of handing over to another pastor no because the grace of my papa is working for me the grace of our papa is working for you and he will continue that grace will continue to work for you and every member of your ministry and every pastor that is connected to the ministry and to this grace that grace will begin to work for you in the name of our Lord Jesus. Somebody put those hands together for Jesus. All right, uh, sister, we uh, want to ask you, there are a lot of uh, uh, viewers uh, listening to you right now. There are a lot of uh, ministers of God that are out there. Some have even given up. Some are still contemplating whether or not to continue ministry work or whether to even visit uh, this great commission. You that have tasted from this grace, you that have tasted from this power, what word of advice would you have to give to viewers all over the world and the ministers of God that are listening to you out there. Well, before I say that, my second testimony, you can see a picture of me and my husband. During that attack, my marriage was broken. For four years, I was separated from my husband. And this is our restoration. God has restored my marriage. So you mean... The encounter did not just bring your ministry back to life. The encounter also brought your marital life that was already destroyed. It brought it back to life. That is to tell you that you that is sitting here in this wonderful congregation, it is not only that problem that you brought here that you will go home with solution. Other problem that you have been encountering in your life for the reason of this testimony this morning, morning you will go home a free man and a free woman in the name of Jesus somebody put those hands together for Jesus you can go ahead with the advice I want to say to all the pastors servants of God that are struggling wherever you are come to Mercy City the grace of our papa a man with a large heart with compassionate heart is always ready to receive as many that come to him. And no one come here and go back the same. So I'm inviting you, come and see for yourself. 
No one comes here and go back the same. You that have visited here, you will never ever go back the same way you came in the name of our Lord Jesus. Somebody put those hands together for Jesus. Voilà, chers téléspectateurs, nous venons de suivre ce merveilleux témoignage de cette femme de Dieu ici présente, qui dit qu'elle a auparavant, elle avait des problèmes dans, au niveau de son église, euh, au niveau de son mariage aussi. Elle avait dit qu'elle est venue ici à Christ Messiland, l'homme de Dieu l'avait localisé, avait prié pour elle. Après la prière de l'homme de Dieu, lorsqu'elle est repartie, voilà comment son église a commencé à marcher. Et tout dans sa vie, sa vie maritale a été restaurée, sa vie du ministère a été restaurée, c'est pourquoi elle est ici pour dire merci au Dieu du prophète Jérémie pour ce qu'il a fait dans sa vie. Applaudissons pour le Seigneur. Somebody put those hands together for Jesus. Uh, sister, we celebrate with you, we rejoice with you and every uh, member of your ministry. And we want to urge and advise you that you should uh, continually make the word of God a standard for your life by so doing. More and more testimony will continue to locate you and every member of your ministry. We rejoice with you once more and we pray that your testimony will remain permanent in your life in the name of our Lord Jesus. Somebody put those hands together for Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Yes, we still have other wonderful testimonies in the house. Keep on clapping if you know you're expecting your own testimony. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Yes, we have another wonderful family here who is here to tell us what the God of Sino Prophet Jeremiah or Moto Fufei has done for them. So you are very much welcome to Christ's Mercy and Deliverance Ministries. Tell us your name, the person standing beside you, where you come from, and share with us your amazing testimony. Mercy Land. Arena of Solution and Power. Mercy Land. Arena of Solution and Power. Mercy Land. Arena of Solution and Power. My name is Apostle Muzila from Botswana. Standing beside me is my wife, Prophetess Ruth Muzila, also from Botswana. My testimony goes like this. 20, 20, 2017, the year I got married to my wife, uh, I was facing a lot of challenges and she was introduced me to the prophet, senior prophet Jeremiah Amor of Fain. She said, man of God, what you are going through, there is the only one man who can help you because of the battle that you are facing of altars. There's a man by the name of Jeremiah in Nigeria. I want you to go there. It was a, 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 a struggle for me to get money to come this side. And I was not waking. We prayed, we prayed, cried unto the Lord until the Lord answered me, gave me a project. And then the prophet that I got from that project, he said, please go to Nigeria. I came here 2022, June. I joined the prayer line. The prophet prayed for me. Only one touch. I went back to my country, Botswana. The struggle that I saw from 2017, trying to gather myself, open the ministry, it was so hard. All of a sudden, when I entered my country, within a week, we were just praying in the house, praying for my family and the family to my wife. People started to come. They, there's a lady who came. She was about to die, dying seriously because of her appendix. I pray for that, one, that lady. She went to the test. They said, the wound is shrinking. When she go back for the second time, then they said the wound has disappeared. People begin to come. People begin to come. Oh, you People didn't know yet that somebody stand on their feet come. and give the Lord a shout. This is wonderful. He said he was struggling to establish a ministry, but his wife convinced him to come to Nigeria to meet senior prophet Jeremiah, your spiritual father. 
He said, just one touch. After that touch, he returned back to his country and he were praying in the house. Before you know, people started coming. People started coming. Just like Christ Mercy Land, people started entering. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. This is wonderful. Go ahead, sir. And then, that week, I had a dream. In that dream, I saw a woman giving me three lanes, telling me, I want to give this so that we can open the church. I didn't waste time. The following morning, I went to that woman, only to find that the woman is sick. She was diagnosed with cancer. I prayed for that woman. She was healed from the cancer. She was healed. She was healed. Hallelujah. After her healing, she gave me one blood. That's where I opened the church. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. After that one touch, he began to do like his father. He prayed for a woman that had appendix. After the prayer, she got a healing. And she offered him a land where he is able to establish his ministry. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. This is wonderful. Hallelujah. So please, can, you can go ahead with a wonderful testimony. When I was here, there's a man who told me that. Buy your wife a card, a prayer card for the international. I bought that card. When I went there in my country, I gave it the card. She scraped the card. She sent the code as we were given the instruction. After sending that card, within two days, it was in the morning around six o'clock, a phone call entered. When she answered, she said, I don't know the voice of this man. When I listen from the voice, I say, oh, this is Papa Jay. He prayed for her. For seven days, early in the morning every day, six o'clock, he prayed for her for seven days. The seven days, he said, what do you want God to do for you? She said, I want God to bless me and my husband. And the prophet says, it is done. You will come back and testify. The following day, she received a phone call. Early in the morning, around seven o'clock, an Indian man called her. We want you to come and work with us. She was refusing. I said, ah, the man of God said, you will come and testify. If you don't go there, you are making a mistake. You are killing a testimony. She went there. They hired her with no interview. And she's working there even now. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. After the prayer, from the man of God through the prayer card, your wife was employed without an interview. Just like that. Just like that. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. You can go ahead, sir. I thank God for, for the grace of Jeremiah. I'll just give an advice. People of God, what I saw here and what is happening in my ministry, a lot of people now that are asking me, how do you run a ministry? Because the grace of Jeremiah in my country is making a noise, a good noise, the whole country, because of what is happening in my church. I have only normal Sunday service, only one Sunday service. Friday is a prayer only for one hour. But every Sunday in my church, I have from 15 to 20 testimonies every Sunday. Every Sunday, miracle money, miracle alert, miracle job, miracle healing. Every Sunday. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Yes, sir, we are seeing some documents and pictures on the board. Can you please throw more light on those pictures and the documents? The document that you see there, this is the church. The other one is the invitation letter that 
I have received 2022 from Miss Land for me to visit this church. Hallelujah. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Voilà, certes, les spectateurs, nous venons de suivre ces merveilleux témoignages de ces ministres de Dieu venant du Botswana. Il disait qu'en 2020, il était au point d'ouvrir son ministère, mais ça ne marchait pas, il n'y avait pas de moyens financiers. Et spirituellement, les choses étaient un peu bloquées. Et voilà comment son épouse l'avait conseillé de venir ici à Christ Messiland pour chercher la face de l'éternel. Et quand il est venu, il s'est fait euh, enregistrer dans la ligne de prière. Et voilà ce beau jour, l'homme de Dieu, le prophète Jérémie Omotofoufou, il a prié pour lui et il lui a touché avec sa main, sa main ouinte. Et quand il est retourné chez lui, voilà comment les portes commencent à s'ouvrir et le ministère commence à grandir. Il a commencé dans sa propre maison au salon et la foule commence à venir de part et d'autre. Et voilà comment aujourd'hui, le Dieu qui est venu chercher a ouvert des portes de son ministère. Et sa femme qui était à la recherche du boulot, un bon jour, l'homme de Dieu avait, il avait aussi profité à euh, aller avec la carte internationale de prophétique. Et chaque jour, l'homme de Dieu priait pour lui pendant sept jours. Après le septième jour, il avait demandé que voulez-vous que je fasse pour vous Et il a dit que j'aimerais que Dieu me bénisse. Et le lendemain, euh, une compagnie indienne l'avait appelé pour aller commencer le boulot. Sa femme qui était stagnante, qui n'avait pas de boulot, a commencé son boulot sans interview jusqu'à aujourd'hui. Et c'est pourquoi il est revenu à nouveau pour dire merci au Dieu de prophète Jérémie pour cette percée au ministère et pour le boulot que sa femme a eu. Applaudissons pour le Seigneur. Yes, I will rejoice with you. We pray that as you are going, you are coming back for more and greater testimonies in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ if you know you are expecting your own testimony. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. We still have wonderful testimonies in the house. Somebody, if you know you are expecting your own testimony, stand on your feet, somebody. Somebody stand on your feet and give the Lord a shout of victory. <laughs> Hallelujah. You may have your wonderful seat as we listen to this wonderful testimony. So you're very much welcome to Christ's Mercy Land Deliverance Ministries. Tell us your name, where you come from, and share with us your wonderful testimony. Mercy Land. Arena of Solution and Power. Mercy Land. Arena of Solution and Power. My name is Raoul Mbajue from Equatorial Guinea. My testimony goes like this. On 31st of December 2013, I saw a man in crossover night wearing uh, army, army uniform in my television screen. I look at it, then it's like a voice telling me that this is your spiritual father. You must go to him. Then we cross over the night with him as he was breaking the clay pot. Uh -huh. He collect some clay pot, some clay in my house. We read the prayer point. We put inside. We break with him. Then I started following Prophet Jeremiah. Okay, from January to end February 2014, I got a job. I got a job in a company, in offshore company. I started working, working, working. 2015, I came here to see, by the very first time, to see the prophet. He prayed for me. I pay my first fruit. I pay everything. I pack the sun. Go back to my country. We pray. We pray. Every day we follow the service. We follow day and night. The Lord has been so faithful. 
the work that I got, they started helping me, promoting me, promoting me. But the challenges came. I cried unto God because it was a sad letter that I, I am waiting. God of Prophet Jeremiah, come to my rescue. I cannot bear this. I was seeking for a job. You are giving me a job. Now they are trying to sack me. I pray, I pray. The problem goes on. Okay. But they reduce my salary. They reduce the salary. The, the, the salary becomes very small. That I cry, I cry. 2019, I come back. I say, this time, the Lord must help me. I partner with the prophet. I pack son again, go back to my country. Pray, pray, pray. Uh -huh. Then in 2020, now the Lord appear to my dream with the face of a woman, woman, one. He said to me, son, don't cry. Don't cry. Don't look at this salary. It's not the end. You will see who I am in the kingdom of God. Put your then, hands together for Jesus Christ. This is a wonderful testimony. You can go ahead, sir. Then I woke up. I woke my wife. We pray. We give thanks to God. 2020, March of March, it was like a dream at my office in the lab, lab place where I checked the chemicals, crude oil, and gas. The Lord speak to me when I, bought, I was about to check the operation that we are doing at the offshore. The Lord spoke to me. I, I am the God of Prophet Jeremiah. I am the one that sent you to Prophet Jeremiah. You will own the companies and companies of the work that you are doing now. It was like I was not a dream. He finished the operation. I come back home. Then I started searching for gas and all this crude oil. For my surprise, I own today the experiment of a gas produced not the fossil one that we take on the ground or on the sea. I own a gas, a special gas from the God of Prophet Jeremiah. Gas company from the God of Prophet Jeremiah. Somebody put your hands together for Jesus Christ. This is a wonderful testimony of a brother sharing here today. He was passing through difficulties in a place of work, even in his personal life. And he said, the man of God, the God of Sinai Prophet Jeremiah, directed him to come down to Christ, Mercy and Deliverance Ministries. He had an encounter with the man of God. When he went back, he got a job where he was working. And later on, he received a sacked letter. And he decided to come back to Christ, Mercy Land again. For the man of God to pray for him. He, he registered as a partner. After that, he went back to his country. God solved, the God of Sinai Prophet Jeremiah solved his problem. What, everything he was passing through, the difficulties, everything was over. And today, he's a owner of gas plant in his own country. Somebody put your hands together for Jesus Christ. He's not working for any other person. Is the owner of his gas plant in his country, and people are working for him. He was working for people, but today people are working for him. If you are here listening to this testimony, you are a worker here. I pray today because you listen to this testimony, people are going to.
to walk under you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, sir, we are seeing some documents on the board. Can you please throw more light? Yes. Not only that, because now the Lord gave me the experiment. I work on the experiment, and the experiment give me result. In my country, a project like this, you cannot establish it without involving the government. Now I started searching for sponsors, searching for partners. Mm -hmm. Then I go in the Ministry of Mine and Industry. They directed me to the Vice President to prepare my CV and everything concerning the gas plant. Then the government give me the license and then to establish the company. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. So you can see the document on the board and you can see the picture here. This is the evidence of what our brother is testifying all about. These are the evidence. You can see it. Life and direct. No why you put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Okay, sir, we want to know there are many people watching you right now through Mercy TV and people that are sitting down here listening to this wonderful testimony. What is your advice to them? Yes, the first advice to all over the world is to come to the prophet of God here at Mercy City. Any problem you face in your country here in Nigeria, you have the grace here, you people that are in Nigeria, you don't know what you have in your midst. But we know when you come outside your country, we know what is here. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Voilà, certes, les spectateurs, nous venons de suivre ces merveilleux témoignages de notre frère venant de la Guinée équatoriale. Il disait que en 2000, l'an 2000, il était à la recherche de boulot et jusqu'à ce qu'il est venu ici à Christmas Island pour chercher la face de l'Éternel. L'homme de Dieu a prié pour lui, l'avait localisé et il a prié pour lui. Et quand il est retourné chez lui, il a obtenu un boulot. Non seulement le boulot, un bon jour étant dans ce lieu de travail, dans cette société, il y avait eu des problèmes qui s'est surgi dans cette société et ils ont cherché à vouloir le limoser de cette société. Et voilà comment une fois de plus il a prié, imploré le Dieu de prophète Jérémie d'intervenir. Et tout d'un coup, et ils n'ont pas pu le, le limoger, mais ils lui ont pardonné, mais son salaire a été réduit à zéro. Et il continue à prier, intercéder. Un bon jour encore, il est revenu encore à Christ, mais il a honte pour chercher la face de l'éternel. Et le Dieu de prophète Jérémie l'avait localisé. Et quand il est retourné chez lui, euh, le boulot dont il travaillait, on lui avait donné une promotion pour pouvoir être responsable de la partie qui faisait l'examination des produits pétroliers. Et quand il avait fini cela, il a entendu la voix de l'Éternel qui lui dit « Ce que vous êtes en train de faire dans cette société, dissipez, vous allez devenir le propriétaire de votre propre compagnie. » Et voilà comment, après quelques jours, le Dieu de Prophète Jérémie a ouvert des portes et il a pu obtenir sa propre compagnie de gaz. Et c'est pourquoi il est revenu à nouveau pour dire « Merci au Dieu de Prophète Jérémie pour cette percée dans ses affaires. » Applaudissons pour le Seigneur. Yes, I will rejoice with you. We advise you may the word of God is standard for your life. By so doing, you are coming back for more and greater testimonies in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Keep on clapping. We still have other wonderful testimonies in the house. Yes, testimony still continues. 
Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. If you are clapping for Jesus, you can do better. If you are clapping for yourself, it is okay. If that clapping is for King of Glory, the man who kept you alive in the land of the living, if you are celebrating the God that gives you the grace to see this day, I expected you to stand on your feet and make a joyful and a louder noise to the glory of God. Turn to your neighbor, say neighbor. As you are listening to these testimonies, you also will give your own testimony. Next Sunday is my turn. And I shall testify. If you believe that, I want you to shout a thunderous amen. Put your hands together for Jesus as you have your wonderful seat. As queens and kings you are in the presence of God. Testimony still continues. We have a wonderful family who are here to share with us their wonderful testimonies. Our brother, you are very much welcome to Christ Mercy Land Ministries. Please tell us your name. Introduce to us the people beside you, where you're from, and also share with us your wonderful testimony. Mercy Land. Arena of Solution and Power. Okay. I am. My name is Endurance Osubu. I am from Delta State. People beside me is my lovely wife, my children. So we are here today for our testimony. What God has, the prophet, what, what the God has done for us. We came here to return all the glory back to him. So my testimony goes like this. I was here at Worry before, some time ago, 2015 working in one construction company. For no good reason, one day they just called me and said, Oga, uh, we don't need your service again. I said, wow. I said, any problem? They said, no. They said, if we have good, big work, they will call me. So I went home. I told my wife. My wife was crying. I told her, why are you crying? I said, look at you today. If they don't drive him before, it could have been like this. So forget about it. The God will still do it for us. So we stayed in 2015. 16, we joined this ministry. We stayed, we stayed managing, managing. I said, ah, get us a video, let's go home. We'll now move to our area. So, when we got home, 2017, we stayed, stayed, stayed. To shorten the story, 2023, my brother told me that, my, one of my brothers told me that uh, he has put my name in one offshore work. I said, wow. As far as my name is there now, the God of Prophet Jeremiah will finish the work. I keep to the matter. So, he called me again. We have to go for training in Portacourt. So, I left. I told my wife, I'm going for training now. She said, okay, go and come. We stayed for the training for three weeks. We came back by June. We stay home. One week, two weeks. Ah, my wife said, they're not the calling for this work. I said, we just come back. Now, Papa, all the program. June, that was a one shot encounter. As you all the program, I was in the program. The last of the program, I'm a partner. And uh, he said, after this program, you see people going for good works, buying cars, building houses. And I said, oh, my, my brother promised me a job before. I said, I keep to my job. And now, uh, so is it. The last day of the program, Papa said, after this program, you see this thing like television. I say, God, I'm already there. The old Sunday, the testimony, when I was coming to the church, my phone ring. He said, Brother, brother, where are you? I said, I'm in the church. So they said, The vessel has come. So you, you need to come to Patakot now. I said, Wow. And I called my wife. I said, Madam, it don't happen, no. My wife said, What did happen? I said, Don't call me for the work. Oh. I now. Send some money for her. That's why I Put left. your hands together for Jesus Christ. Are you clapping for yourself or you are celebrating the King of Kings? For our brother who has been looking for this job for several years and God granted him a job just like that. The Bible said that you should believe the Lord your God 
and you will be established. Then the Bible said again, believe in his prophet. That is the Obomo Womo one. And you will be what? You shall prosper. Our brother kid in, into the prophetic declaration of the man of God. And today, today he's no more a jobless man. Can you put your hands together once again for Jesus Christ? <laughs> Our brother, please go ahead. So, I now work for Patakot. Already the company book hotel for me. Both feeding and everything. I stepped to Debrick. As I enter the vessel, that's how, the, that's how we sail to the offshore. And so that's how? That's how I get my work. You can see, that is me and my captain in the ship. Somebody put their hands together for Jesus Christ. I don't know, your excitement is not even enough. How many of you are expecting miracle from God today? I don't know how many of you that have submitted application job, application letter to any company or any office. As you witness this testimony, may you receive a call for testimony. May you receive a positive call that will make you to come and testify. Whatever application you have sent, be it into the embassy, may you receive a positive result in the name of Jesus. And as you are receiving and listening to this testimony, make sure to key in with your own prayer point of what God what you want God to do for you, and God will surely do it for you in Jesus' name. So, our brother, we are seeing some papers and some things on your hands. We want you to throw more lights on those things. You can see, this is my international passport. Before you go to the work, you have to, you have to before you go to any offshore work, deep offshore, you have to have international passport. So this is my international passport, you can see it. The company does this for me. Then when you go to the board, you can see all this. This is my papa, Papa J, my partner's car, my full-time partner. I always pray with this dollar and each time, so you can see. So let's go to the board. You are a partner. Full Ask time. your neighbor, are you a partner? You people don't even know the, the, the advantage and the profit of being a partner. Make sure you are a partner because God of this commission does not fail. So, our brother have this international passport. People might be asking, what is the international passport for? He's not a boat sailor. He's not a canoe sailor. No be paddler in bio. This passport is not just, he's not just a sailor or a pilot within worry. He travels all over the world. Just as people pray for God to grant them visa to travel from one country to another. That's how our brother here is traveling from one country to another through sea. In whichever way you are praying to God to grant you a particular visa, may God answer your prayers in the name of Jesus. So brother, we are seeing some documents on the board. Please, can you throw more lights on the board? Why are you looking on the screen? Okay, you can see the first one. That is the training certificate. Those are the training. When you want to go to this offshore work in... Um, Shakins, Patakot. Some people know what I'm talking about here. So those are the certificates. That one is my company. Then when you go down again, you can see my screw. When you screw this side, you see my yes, you see my medical. My my medical is there. And the other one, there's a paper there. I just bought a land. That is the agreement of the land which I just bought when I come back. Put your hands together for Jesus. And the prophetic word of the man of God came to pass. Our brother stated, he said, during that one short encounter, daddy declared and said, you will buy your own land. You will get your own cars. And then he remembered his job, first of all, because now person will get land, they pursue math later. He said, let me get this job. And God granted him that job. And today, not only did he got that job, he's now also a With the joy in your heart, we want to know the words of advice you have for viewers all over the world and people that are here listening to your testimonies. Okay, Mercy Land, 
I mean, no to the wall. Plan. I want you to believe the prophet and follow the instructions. Don't take him for granted. You know, the, God will change the story. Put your hands together for Jesus. Voilà, chers téléspectateurs, nous venons de côté ce merveilleux témoin de cette famille ici présente qui est ici pour dire merci au Dieu du prophète Jérémie pour ce qu'il a fait dans leur vie. Et il a dit qu'il avait perdu son boulot en 2015. Et il a décidé de venir ici à Christ Messiland. Après la prière de l'homme de Dieu, il est reparti. Et le Dieu du prophète Jérémie l'a béni avec un nouveau boulot où il est pilote d'un navire. Et aujourd'hui, il est aussi propriétaire d'une parcelle de terrain. C'est pourquoi il est ici pour rendre gloire au Dieu du prophète Jérémie pour ce qu'il a fait dans sa vie. Applaudissons pour le Seigneur. Put your hands together for Jesus. Our brother, we rejoice with you and your family. And we advise that you stand firm, continue being a partner. And by so doing, God will elevate you from junior partner to senior, from senior to diamond, and also to platinum partner. And we pray that the good Lord who has started this good news in your life, we also continually giving you more and more testimonies in Jesus' name. May your testimony remain permanent in Jesus' name. Okay, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Put your hands. The more you are clapping, the more your prayer requests are being answered. Somebody give the Lord a shouting offering. Put your hands together, together once again for Jesus. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor, I shall testify before you. Do you believe in that? If your neighbor is not serious, turn to another neighbor, say neighbor, you will celebrate me. Are you putting a smile while saying that? Turn to another neighbor, say neighbor, you will witness my, my own testimony. If you believe that, shout a bigger amen. Testimony still continues. We have a beautiful family who are here to share with us their wonderful testimony. Our sister, you are very much welcome to Christ Missilandera Ministries. Please tell us your name. Introduce to us people standing by you. Tell us where you're from and also share with us your amazing testimony. Mercy Land. Arena of Solution and Power. Arena of Solution and Power. Mercy Land. Standing beside me is my mom. My name is Maru. The person standing next to me is my mom and my younger ones. I received an encounter with the man of God. I was going through addiction. I'm from Abuja, but my mom resides there in Worry. I've been going through addiction. I've been smoking for a very long period of time, and it made me, I couldn't concentrate on anything. Anything I was doing, I don't complete it. I was very, it made me sick, a lot of things, set back, delay, a lot happened. But after encountering the man of God, I was able to leave that addiction. And to the glory of God today, I'm no longer addicted. I don't smoke anymore. Are you celebrating this king of glory? The Bible made us to understand that heaven rejoices over a soul that has given his or her life to Christ. You know what addiction can cause? Our sister said she has been or start to do that you could complete. But to the glory of God, she was able to get encounter with the God of this commission. And she said she came here and uh, went to the mountains also and got encountered with the man of God and just only a touch from the Papa J. And then she said all the spirit that has been tormenting her left her and today she's a new creature. Somebody celebrate Jesus. 
So our sister, we want you to explain to us in detail how this addiction of smoking has affected your life in concerning your business, your work, your career, whatever business, whatever thing you are into. What has it cost you? Your relationships? It has cost me a lot because I don't concentrate on anything. I don't, I don't even, I don't do anything. I just wake up. When I wake up, that's the first thing I want to do. And that's the last thing I do before going to bed. I even started having issues with the father of my child because I was always demanding for money from him. Money, money. I don't, I don't concentrate on anything. Even my business, my mom was the one helping me to go to my school. I don't do anything at all. It's just the smoking. I just smoke from morning to night, just like that, until I encountered grace here. Yeah. And today, can we know... Can you share with us how you are feeling now after the touch? I feel very great because even my color is different. My body size is different. I have peace. You have peace. Did somebody hear that? She said she has peace. Somebody put your hands together for Jesus. So we would want you to drop your word of advice to many people out there who are going through this Thing that you went through before, you know, struggling to leave it, but they couldn't. What word of advice do you have for them? Okay, addiction is not an easy thing to, to drop because I've tried on my own several times. It's not easy, but since I could be delivered here, I advise if you are going through the same situation, you can also come to Mercy City where I got my own deliverance, so you can also have yours. Somebody celebrate Jesus. Voilà, chers téléspectateurs, nous venons de suivre ces merveilleux témoignages de notre sœur venant de l'état d'Abuja. Elle disait qu'auparavant, elle était euh, étudiante, mais comme l'ennemi l'avait appliqué avec euh, l'esprit d'addiction de drogue, elle n'arrivait même plus à compléter ses études. Et même les petites affaires dont elle faisait, c'était sa mère qui l'assistait, mais l'affaire aussi ne marchait plus. Elle passait tout son temps qu'à fumer du matin au soir. Jusqu'à un certain moment, avec le mari dont elle restait avec, elle s'est mariée avec, il y a eu déjà des problèmes. Elle demandait seulement de l'argent à son mari, mais elle n'arrive même pas à arrêter cette addiction. Et ceci a été prolongé jusqu'au point dont elle est venue ici à Krasmessiland pour chercher la face de l'éternel. Et voilà comment l'homme de Dieu l'avait localisé à la montagne et il a prié pour elle. Il l'avait délivré également de cette addiction. Une fois qu'elle est retournée, et elle n'était plus addictée à ces, ces drogues. Les drogues deviennent maintenant, elle déteste maintenant les drogues dans sa vie. Et voilà comment elle s'est concentrée à commencer à faire ses affaires et sa vie s'est rétablie normale. Et c'est pourquoi elle est ici aujourd'hui avec sa mère et avec toute sa famille pour dire merci au Dieu du prophète Jérémie. Applaudissons pour le Seigneur. Somebody celebrate grace. Our sister, we rejoice with you and we advise that to make the words of God. A standard for your life and by so doing affliction shall never rise a second time and we advise that you hold God firm do not deviate from the things of God and by so doing your testimony we remain permanent in Jesus name thank you Jesus thank you Jesus. put your hands together for Jesus Christ are you celebrating grace or you are just sitting Are you excited about the testimonies you are hearing in the house of God? If our God is too much, I want you to clap your hands for him. If you know you are God, my God, our God is too much. I want you to celebrate him with a clapping offering. If you know that this upcoming program that you are going to be standing and celebrating your cars i want you to stand on your feet and make a joyful noise unto the lord to the ministers in the house if you believe that you'll be celebrating your congregation and your ministries i want you to shout a shout of victory Put your hands together for Jesus Christ and have your wonderful seat. As you shout, may God grant you your heart desires in Jesus' name. We still have wonderful testimonies in the house. 
We have our beautiful mommy who is here to share with us the testimony God has granted to her and her household. Our mommy, you are very much welcome to Christ Missy Land River Ministry. Mercy Land. Share with us. Tell us your name, where you're from. Introduce to us the person beside you and share with us your wonderful testimony. I am Prophet Estella. Mercy Land. Mercy Land. Mercy Land. Arena of Solution and Power. My name is Prophet Estella from Guinea Equatorial. I am here with my son. I am here with my son. Chidi, victory. My testimony goes like this. It was on the 24th of December, 2021. My son has an accident, a very severe accident, that there were eight in the vehicle and seven people died at the spot. And by the grace of God, they took him to the first hospital. They rejected him, that he is dead. They took him to the second hospital. They rejected him, that he is dead. And they took him to the third one. And the doctor accepted him, believing God, that God will do something. After that, they operated him in the heart. Because when he had that accident, the bone cracked and entered the lungs. And that made him to be unconscious for two weeks and four days in oxygen. So by the special grace of God, they operated him, the operation went successfully. But after that, the leg was having a severe problem. There was no solution. And the doctor said they are going to cut the leg. And when they called me, I said, oh God, by the grace of God, I'm a partner to this same ministry. So I pray unto God. I say, God of my father, senior prophet Jeremiah, help me that they will not cut the leg of my son. I will not see my own son in this life with half leg. By the grace of God, our pastor, Pastor, jo pastor Amanze, who is the, the son of senior prophet Jeremiah, he connected me. He said, don't worry. Our papa, the grace of our papa, will make this child to walk again. And I register, I register for the prayer meet, for the prayer line. I did everything he asked me. And the man of God prayed for him, located him and prayed for him. And prophesied in his life that I give you one week, you are going to walk. And after that one week, my son started walking for the glory Somebody of the Lord. Somebody stand on your feet and give the Lord a shout. Out. Our sister, go ahead. So I am here this morning to thank the God of our Geneva, Senior Prophet Jeremiah Omoto for fee. By the special grace of God upon his life, my son is walking now freely as any other person. Somebody put your hands together for Jesus Christ. This is someone that was admitted. Not just admitted, not just being admitted. But he was unconscious for two good months plus, right? And even that, according to our mommy here, you heard it rightly. She said two doctors rejected him, declaring him dead. But who is that that says it's a thing and it's come to pass when God has not spoken? It's only the God's report that we can only believe in. Because when God be for us, nobody can stand against us. And then the third doctor, God used the third doctor to welcome this young man because God said it is not yet time for him to go. 
And again, from there, they were able to get encounter with the God of this commission. And then, from there, they, he was also using the crutches to walk. He couldn't walk on his own. And they brought him here after several surgeries. And that surgery did not still make him to stand to his feet and walk properly until he came to this place, arena of solution. And God gave him the solution of his life. And today, you can see the young man standing healthy and strong in the presence of God. Somebody celebrate grace. So please, can we watch the playback for benefits of doubt? We have a playback of how God located this young man and for the prophetic declaration. Okay. Somebody stand on your feet and make a joyful noise to the Lord. So... Our brother, please have your seat. Our brother, we rejoice with you. And uh, we, want, we want our brother to come and tell us his experience. Please. So, our brother, we want to know, during this, your trying times, what did this accident cost you in terms of your health, you know, your work and all that was. What were your challenges then? Mercy Land. Arena of Solution and Power. Mercy Land. Arena of Solution and Power. Okay, my name is Chidi Victory, as my mommy earlier said. All right, I'm from, from Imo State, based in Imo State. Okay, um, actually, what this accident actually caused to, uh, to me affected me badly. Um, actually, I lost my memory at the process. I could not recall everything that I've done in the past. Or, like, if I should do something now, if you should, like, in the next minute, if you ask me, what did you do? I will not be able to tell you what I did. So this thing really affects me, both in my education. I had to start from, from afresh again, to start doing things that was, I, I've done ever, um, at, the, at, the, at the past. So um, I'm here to testify to thank God for his goodness, for everything. He has been really faithful to me. I thank God. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. And we want to know how you feel now after the encounter with the man of God. How do you see your life now? How do you feel? All right. Now I'm feeling strong and healthy. What I could not do before, I'm doing it now. Please, can so. you show us the leg? So that people will understand that it's not just uh, a may talk. No be wayo. Can you see? Can you see the young man's leg? Can you show the leg properly, you know, so that people will understand? You see the injury, that's the proof. And those are the crutches that he was using to help himself. But today he's standing by himself. So, brother, we want to ask you, those crutches, do you still want to make use of them? So, no, what do you have to do with them? I have to throw it away. Glory be to Jesus, please. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. So, I want you to do what you could not do before, while you are using the crutches. Now that you are no longer using the crutches, can you please walk? Let's see. You can see him walking 
as a king in the presence of God. Our God is great and mighty. Somebody celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. So, we want you to throw words of advice to viewers all over the world that are watching you for what God has done for you. What are your words of advice to viewers all over the world? Okay, my word of advice is anyone that is watching Prophet Jeremiah or Moto Fofi, you should watch him like you should have faith. While watching him, you should believe that God is going to touch his or her life through the testimonies of people. And also, I am, I'm advising everyone that if you are coming here, you should have faith that you are not going back the same with the problem you came here with. You are not going back the same way you came. That's the word of advice. Somebody celebrate Jesus. Voilà, amis téléspectateurs, nous venons de remercier le Dieu, le Dieu de prophète Jérémie pour la vie de notre frère. Il disait qu'il il a été impliqué dans un accident fatal et qu'il a failli prendre sa vie. Alors, il avait eu des blessures très graves jusqu'à ce qu'on l'a amené. C'est des docteurs des hôpitaux, ils l'ont rejeté et ils l'ont amené jusqu'au troisième hôpital. Et dans ce troisième hôpital, on l'avait accepté pour pouvoir faire des soins dans sa vie. Et après avoir le, le gardé, il était sur comment pendant des semaines et quatre jours. Jusqu'à ce que quand il s'est revenu à lui-même, on le traitait jusqu'au point dont ça n'allait pas. Et la maman avait, et comme étant une dame, une fille du prophète Jérémie, elle a intercédé à ce que le Dieu du prophète Jérémie puisse faire sa, le merveille dans la vie de sa vie, la, la vie de son fils. Et jusqu'à ce qu'elle a invité maintenant son fils pour venir ici à Christ Messiland. Après l'hôpital, il était sur Becky, il n'arrivait même pas à marcher comme il se doit. Mais en venant ici à Christ Messiland, l'homme de Dieu a prié pour lui, l'avait localisé et il a prié pour lui. I had a very difficult challenge. A woman bought here and brought to me in my office, and I sat on it. Between Saturday and Monday, every part of my body got rotten. And as a child of this uh, Papa J, I was thinking, God, what will I do? Because by, 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 by Monday morning, I could no longer walk. I was just lying down on the bed. I asked my wife, please, let me go to Mercy Land. But she was afraid because no one would take care of me and the pain was too much and everywhere was running blood and pus was coming out. I told her, don't worry, just get me my driver. He will take me. And I pleaded with her. And by Tuesday morning, I left. I was just telling her, let my leg just touch fire mountain and I know I will get my healing. So, by Tuesday morning, I was in Mercy City, and by God's grace, everything on, on Sunday, Papa prayed for me, and the wound and everything dried off. Oh, my God, put your hands together for Jesus Christ. You've heard from our brother, according to him, where he was walking in his office, somebody bought a share, and unknown to him, he sat on the share, and that was how he received the attack. It's Madiga on, on, 
His madiga and all his body was, was rotten and parts of them were swollen. And that was how he came to Mercy Land and uh, Daddy located him. Senior Prophet Jeremiah Mutafuin located him on one of the Sunday service and they prayed for him. It was a serious thing. He fell under the anointing. And according to him, after that time, till now, that place dried up. His madiga is back to life. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. So let's watch the playback briefly how the man of God located our brother. You can see how our daddy, how our brother encountered with the God of Jer the Prophet Jeremiah Mutufufuyi, and our daddy prayed for him. And according to him, after that day, the place, this Madiga area that was swollen and that was rotten, dried up, and now he has recovered himself to the glory of God. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. <laughs> our brother, how is your new life now? I'm very happy. My life is sound. My health has come back. Oh, my God. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Yeah, due to time factor. There are thousands out there who are watching us right now. There are viewers all over the world watching you right now. What can you tell them? What is your advice for viewers out there watching us right now? My advice to viewers all over the world is wherever you are, especially young people like us, the challenges out there are too much. You need a spiritual father to always back you up. And I will advise them to run down to Mercy City to come and join my father in the Lord, Senior Prophet Jeremiah Moto Fufui, in Jesus' name. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Voilà, chers téléspectateurs, nous venons de suivre ces merveilleux témoignages de notre frère venant de l'État de Delta. Bon, de manière précise, il a dit qu'il a l'ennemi l'avait affligé avec euh, des des dans sa vie privée, et cela a continué jusqu'au point dont il est allé à l'hôpital pour chercher des soins, mais ça n'allait pas. Mais dimanche dernier, de manière précise, il est venu à Christ Messiland ici à l'église. L'homme de Dieu avait prié pour lui et jusqu'à toucher sa vie privée. Mais quand il est retourné, voilà ses plaies qui étaient là ont disparu. Les plaies ont été totalement guéris. Aujourd'hui, il peut marcher, il voulait marcher comme il veut. Il peut faire tout ce qu'il voudra faire. C'est pourquoi il est ici à nouveau pour dire merci au Dieu du prophète Jérémie pour ses miracles dans sa vie. Applaudissons pour le Seigneur. Our brother, we pray that affliction will never rise a second time in your life and the God that has blessed you, God of Jeremiah, will continue to protect you and bring you back here more and more greater testimony in your way in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus Christ. Someone stand one of you, make a joyful noise for the testifiers. If you know that you are happy and you are nice and to testify, somebody stand up and you're going to make a joyful noise. Oh, you are sitting down. 